this is Connie and welcome back to my coloring book obsession series and this is a magazine that I got oh, a while ago that I thought I would go through with you it is the do magazine um, ultimate coloring for grown-up collection and let's just turn this it looks like it was a Christmas issue this was uh, winter 2015 so I've had it for that long but it is the last book in my collection, so it will be the last one that, that we have for a while. But it says, Color Tango Craft Doodle, Color Me Happy, The Proven Benefits of Coloring for Relaxation, Pens, Pencils, Markers, and More, What to Buy and How to Use, Millie Mara, Marada, Design Genius, and Inside Ready to Color Gift Tags. So, anyway, this is that. Isn't that cute? I like this. All right, so let's just get started in this. And this here just tells you what pages everything is on, just the index type deal. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Okay, and we're just going to kind of pass through a lot of this stuff. But um, I haven't really looked in the magazine sections lately, so I don't know what... This must show you how to color some things. I don't know. Or how to draw. And it's hard for me to read upside down, so I'm not going to do a lot of the reading. Now this tells you your supplies. Like um, gel pens here. Markers. And coloring pencils over here. And it talks about each one, the Sharpies, the Copic markers. Um, what's next here? The Prismacolor, the Tombo, Tombo, the Crayola. Those are your markers. <clears throat> then you've got Prismacolor and uh, other options. For pencils then you've got your gel pens and this is my favorite medium right here gel pens but it's got uh, Sak Sakura and Fiskars I actually have some Fiskars pens but this is my my option of choice for coloring and then you've got pe regular pens you've got Statler you've got Papermate Okay, and here's some stuff to color. Here's these are like gift tags, I do believe, and this is like perforated cardboard. There's your first coloring. So a lot of these are going to be um, Christmas themed, I guess paper is very thick very nicely done yeah Merry Christmas <laughs> well Christmas is coming it's like a hundred days away I believe somebody said joyous Noel I love Christmas it's my favorite see I'm you know I love the fall and stuff and I could do without the snow and the ice and all of that, but I do love Christmas. I love the music. I love the lights. I love the atmosphere. Very cute. So it shows what some of this stuff could look like when you were done. Oh, these are gorgeous. See, I don't do a lot. Like like this here. You can tell that this has been blended and blended and blended. I don't really do that because I color for my my sanity, for my my peace of mind, for my to focus my mind, um, to ease my depression, stuff like that. I don't do it for you know, of course I want it to look nice, but I don't do it to be aesthetically 
pleasing, you know, the, the blending and stuff, you know, like so many women do on, or, and men, on, on YouTube, they do absolutely beautiful jobs, but they'll spend a half an hour on a dang border or on a leaf, you know, to get it just right, the right shades and stuff. I don't do that. So the, here is how you can color different this tree differently. Feel free to pause this and, and look at any of the stuff here. I'm sure you can probably even read some of these things. A natural talent. So she she must be an artist. I wish I always wanted to be able to draw or there's so many things I wanted to be able to do. I wanted to play play an instrument. I lost um, interest pretty fast in that. I, my mom got me piano lessons when I was little and I hated it. There's that tree. I've done so many things in my life and just lost interest in doing them <clears throat> after a while. Um, like knitting and crocheting, you know, I always wanted to learn. And I've tried to learn, but it's very hard for me. I can't. Um, loom knitting, I love that, but I kind of lost interest in that. Look at that owl, isn't that cute? Beautiful. Look at all the detail in this. This would be fun to do. I'm getting a lot of shadow there, aren't I? Not so... Now, this is not my cup of tea, this page here. This one here might be fun. Might be. And here's how you subscribe to this magazine. I should have left that there a little bit and let you guys see that a little better. Just in case you wanted to subscribe. Color Calm Coloring Book. Gift tags. I have a feeling we're coming up on gift tags. I did say there was going to be some color. There's your gift tags here that you... This isn't really coloring page, though. Beautiful. Some Christmas balls that you can... That must be what was in the beginning there, see? Or see how you make those, kind of with construction paper? Interesting, do-it-yourself type stuff. Here is a lot of coloring books. Look at that calendar, too. Isn't that pretty? Wow. Here's your gift tags, and these that just pop right out. That's pretty. Pretty. It says glue. Oh, look at the Wow. They've got some pretty, pretty illustrations in here. <laughs> Look at his face. I just thought that was a kind of a fun thing that I would show you. Um, once I'm more back on my feet, I wouldn't mind subscribing to this book. This is interesting. It tells you about the, you know, what your pens and pencils, what the the pros and cons are on those, tells you all about those. That's going to be interesting. I need to read that article, actually. So thank you so much for joining me. If you like this kind of thing, please give me a thumbs up and share, share, share. That always helps so much. And I will talk to you in my next coloring book obsession. Bye-bye.